Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. My name's Clint. Today we're gonna to be servicing our RCV front axle shafts. It's a pretty simple process really, but for those who may be contemplating getting RCVs or new axle shafts and have heard about having to service your axle shafts, this is gonna show you how easy it is. There's really only one downside to having RCV front axle shafts, and that is sometimes you can get a click. And by click, what I mean is, it's almost like, remember when you were a kid? Well, I don't know, depending on your age, you might not have done this, but back when I was a kid, it used to be cool to take an old baseball card or a football card or something, stick it in the spokes of your bicycle, and you're going down the road, and make that noise right there. Sometimes RCVs can make a similar noise. Obviously, it's not gonna be that fast. Um, I've heard it on other Jeeps. I've had my RCVs over a year now, and I have not experienced that in my Jeep. I do have a friend who has his own shop and has experienced that on his personal Jeep. And it, he said it was loud when I heard it. I didn't think it was that loud. I guess it all depends on your level of OCD. To me, a little bit of noise, I'm not concerned about that. I know I've got the strongest front axle that I can put in my Jeep unless I go up to tons or, you know, do something crazy like that. And I have zero binding or crow hop because I don't have a four point U joint on my axle shafts. I've got a CV joint with six ball bearings in there that gives me six points of contact with zero binding in my steering wheel. Okay, so when you order your RCV axle shafts, they're gonna come with a tube of Molly grease. So you're gonna need a grease gun. If you don't have a grease gun, it's not a problem. You can go to any parts store and pick up a grease gun. The second thing you're gonna need is a needle adapter. You can get this at the same parts store. It doesn't matter. The way you're gonna attach this needle adapter, on this end, it's spring-loaded. See the Zerk fitting right there? All you're gonna do is open that up, put it on the end of your grease gun till it fits in there and then release it. It's connected. Now, RCV says you don't have to remove your wheel to service these axle shafts. That depends whether or not your center cap comes off. If you don't have a removable center cap on your wheels, your wheel's gonna have to come off. But my ATX slab bead locks, center caps come off, so this is gonna be pretty easy. So right there is your grease fitting. All you're gonna do is put your needle adapter in there. Make sure it's kinda tight. Start squeezing some grease in there. And that side's done. And there you have it, the RCV axles are greased. Now, how much grease should we put in? Well, that's a personal preference. I personally, I don't wanna put so much grease in that it's shooting out the back of the bell cover. You know that orange rubber plastic deal on there? 
I don't want it coming out of there. For me, you can tell when you start squeezing the grease in there by the amount of pressure it takes. It's pretty easy the first couple of squeezes and then it gets harder as it goes. For my application, it was about 10 to 12 pumps on the grease gun and I was happy with that. I don't like it coming out of the bell cap because then when your axle's turning, it slings that grease all over everything and I'm not a big fan. That's the way I've always done it and it's worked well for me. Now, when you're greasing your control arms and your trek bars, yeah, I wanna see the grease squirting out of there. And speaking of that, I've got three different grease guns. The grease that comes with these RCVs is molly based and it's quite a bit more expensive. The grease that I put in my Clayton control arms, it's pretty much a standard duty grease and you can buy it at any parts store. It's a little bit less expensive. I don't want to be swapping that stuff out and getting the greases mixed and all that. So I've just got three different grease guns to cover all my applications. Hope this video was an informative. If you're considering getting RCV axles and we're concerned about what it takes to grease them, now you know. Go buy those RCVs. You won't be disappointed. I'm not sponsored by RCV. They have nothing to do with this video. I'm just giving you all my opinion. Hope you all liked the video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Till the next time, keep the shiny side up. Jeep on. Fuck Joe Biden.